why don't we bring him in? Bada bing, bada boom. How are we doing today? What's up? Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. All How's right. It going? It's going great. How about you? Um, I'm doing fantastic. My album came out technically like four hours ago. Yeah, so. right? Yeah, I guess like yeah, you're just you're just out. You're uh you're you it, it's not the formal release, but you know, there's the stream up. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just on YouTube right now. And then uh tomorrow we got tomorrow we got everything. Tomorrow you got everything out. Okay. Hey, Dear Beer Kaiser and Dark Lord Fabio, thanks for those bits. Everybody's very excited to see you. This is and then Coffee Beats Tea throwing the bits at awesome album. Yeah, you I mean, this is a little cra I it seems a little crazy, right? The the <laughs> I, I don't know if you were quite expecting this for your album release. No. <laughs> no never uh it does it it does seem real crazy um i'm glad someone else someone else sees it because uh yeah i don't really know what to say about <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it, it yeah because it's you, you, you know, usually this level of hype is because it's like, oh, well, so-and-so from X band is releasing a new project or we know them from from Y and you kind of just put out two singles and everybody went absolutely nuts. <laughs> I know it was uh, it's a lot to live up to. I mean, I don't know. I've, <laughs> I'm talking like I've like I've lived up to it, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully everyone likes the album. And, I mean. Uh, in case, yeah. in case you're curious if everybody uh, uh, likes the album, uh, The Big Luscious, I just paused my second listen to jump in here for the stream, Hot Damn Does It Rip, uh, Opez the Blood God, The Album Rules, uh, uh, Moon Raven Stunning Album, uh, Falcon Ranger, both singles rip hard, uh, uh, Cryptic Thrones <laughs> Design is listening right now, um, Cheap Shot is... Can't wait to download the album off Bandcamp, but is already thinking it's fucking amazing. Offer amazing album. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Cult Girl, are we going to get a vinyl release of the album? There's a vinyl release, right? Am I crazy? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, pretty soon. Um, that's like still up in the air. I just didn't really want to. Uh, it's, you know, it's, um, it's coming before the end of the year, but I didn't want to do it super early with all the crazy vinyl leads right now and yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Um, We'll do a pre-order uh, in the next month or two for sure uh, when I have like the exact ship date and stuff. But um, I didn't want to have like a like a four month pre-order, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. I mean, if, it'll be vinyl this year, though. For people yeah. that do want to grab something, the uh, there is there is I. Hey, you you saw you you sent me a me you saw my purchase go through and sent me a message of the like. There's a there's a really great uh, package of uh, uh, it's of a uh, just poster patch yeah, what's up what's all in that package again <laughs> there's so many packages yeah uh, well now now some of them are sold out but uh you could pretty much get anything you want uh the ultimate <laughs> package was like uh like a long sleeve and or a long sleeve or a hoodie and you could get uh two patches in cd and cassette in the in the poster the posters came out crazy cool so yeah, I'm really got, pumped on that. I got my I got my shipping notification as well. Damn, uh, uh, Carnsey coming to the chat for the first time to say the power in the album is like unlike anything I've heard before. Um, and, and Beard of Our Six Shield, Six Shield. <laughs> 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 my, my my wife made this shield. Yeah, well, uh, we that I, we're gonna talk about her a bit as well in the interview because I mean, <laughs> you're you've got you've got you're it's not just uh, it's not just one superstar in the uh, in the family over there, eh? Yeah, I know. I definitely I gotta give her credit. Uh, yeah. she does like every, she does everything for me. <laughs> I'm like a big a big black metal baby, and she takes care of me. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I, I think you're. That's not the. <laughs> It's definitely not the rarest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Um, 
So uh, the, the the number one question I wanted to ask you, because uh, uh, as a regular thing on the channel, I, I mispronounce everybody's name regardless of, 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 of length, where they're from. Uh, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. And, uh, and how, how the hell do I pronounce your name? <laughs> it's uh, Sk Skagasawa. Skagasawa. Um, yeah. And uh, you can... Call me, uh, you could call me John for all, John. In, in all intents and purposes there. Yeah. John is, John is fine. No, no one really calls me Skagasawa on a daily basis. So <laughs> it's like my, it's like my alter ego, I guess. Yeah. Like, uh, well, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, it's certainly yeah. not unusual for a, for a black metal uh, musician to have an alter ego as well. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, John works. John, John, John is John. Fun. We'll do John. We'll do John. Okay, we'll do John. In in the interest of time, we only have two hours. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I mean, you know, uh, Metal Man Forever. It's the best album of the year. Um, uh, passionate introvert going crazy. Uh, Panax Piss, indigenous black metal is the future wave. It really hits the sweet spot of what black metal is about: rebellions and defiance of Christian oppression and colonialism. Yeah. So that's like. That's an interesting thing where, I mean, you know, you, you there is a suddenly this this kind of really uh, thriving new movement in indigenous black metal. And for all the like true cult people that complain about, oh, black metal is supposed to be a, a X, Y and Z. If you want to go very literally about uh, uh, with with what black metal is supposed to be about or the first group of black metal musicians pretty mad that there was a, a, a Catholic church on their land is, I guess, something the indigenous community can relate to pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, it's so it's so similar on every level. I mean, the four, you know, the nature worship is there in the the anti the anti Christian sentiments. And um, it's just like, I don't know, like two peas in a pod there. It's it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, uh, the similarities are crazy yeah yeah I, I mean i guess that's why we're kind of getting this yeah this wave of stuff and it, the cool th it's 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 one of those great things where there's simultaneously like there's this big wave of it and then there's also seems to be like a massive appetite for it as we're seeing which is which is always awesome where the, you know we are in a great kind of point i think where it's there's an appetite and uh, a desire for the kind of thing that metal has always sort of been talking about, but not necessarily been the best at, which is like, oh, metal's a global phenomenon. We want all different types of metal. Uh, it does seem like the, you know, the 2020s have been the kind of point where that, that, that talk is really being put into action. Yeah, no, I can't agree more. It's like, it's real. It's been real crazy in the last, just a year or two, I think. Even before yeah. I was around, um, that kind of had st something to do with it too. I think Howdy you know what I mean. Uh, like it's so easy to, um, I don't know. It's like inspiring a bit to see so many people out there doing their thing. It's like kind of gave me the courage to do it too. I guess that's that awesome. makes sense. Yeah, no, that yeah. that super makes sense, right? And I, I I think I think sometimes people can get caught up and they go like. Uh, the you know they go like oh well it doesn't it, it doesn't inspire me because I, I you know I'm a white guy how am I supposed to relate to this blah 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 and you go it should be inspiring to you as a as a human being you could just relate to it as a human being and just be like oh man I'm stoked how oh man there's now an man. indigenous black metal community that's sick I'm stoked look at this this is great um, which is you know just because I'm just excited all the time because of stuff like this uh, in my job. So <laughs> that's always the energy I'm trying to put forward to tell people where it's like, dude, you, you don't, you don't have to be the thing to stoke, be stoked about the thing succeeding. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, in the end, it's really just black metal too. Like that right. was a big focus of mine was to not this first album anyway, was really to keep kind of tropes out of it. And, you know, make a solid black metal record at the end of the day was the main goal. Yeah. Well, I think that it's, it's really well like paced and spaced where it's, you know, it's, it's great, great black metal. Uh, and that's the overwhelming majority of the time on the record, but the kind of like little interludes you do do with the flute, it's, it's the same like formula as, a, as a as a traditional black metal record but just that different sound to the flute that like slight kind of shift really 
in black metal, it's the slight shifts that really kind of wound up having the biggest impact. You don't need to change the whole thing. It's like that one little tweak. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I think what a lot of people have felt is that it's you you and obviously Austin is there's a lot of comparisons where it's, you know, it's just that little bit of difference in the folk. The black metal there is still the, the, the same amazing black metal we all love. It's just adding that twist to the folk really kind of opens up a whole thing where it creates a different sound for the whole thing despite the fact that yeah it's it's you know it's a couple minutes here and there yeah absolutely and that's like i'd love to get i will get more into that too i mean it's uh i wanted to keep it a little more raw on the first one but like i've been i've been in in into the second one for a few months now Uh, (laughs) so uh it's definitely it's different a bit in, in good ways, in good ways. That, but, no, uh, that's really exciting a bit to more, hear. A bit more of everything, I would say. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ahab Crow, I fucking love the flute. Uh, and yeah, people talking about the production of the record too. Phoenix Piss, Neil's production on the record is ridiculously good. It sounds huge. Cheap Shot, yeah, I love the production. Um, uh, Codex Band Music, Indigenous Black Metal. Yes, I love this, especially being a quarter Apache myself and 100% evil. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's it's it's, you know, it's also exciting to hear you're working on a second album. It's very funny as well that you're like, yeah, you know, I saw the Indigenous Black Movement and it gave me the courage to go ahead. And now I'm work halfway through my second album in like a what is it like a year and a half? Yeah, well, it's even funnier because like you're talking about the production there and that's tied into it too really because like um we were debating i was for so long like what i i didn't really know what i wanted to do with the production and uh i was kind of leaning towards pretty raw and just raw you know (laughs) pretty lo-fi and in the end i decided no like the thing that made me decide no was all the other dudes out there because there is so much like raw lo-fi native black metal out there and like i didn't really want to step on anyone's toes so like i was almost more inclined to go that route too but at the at the last minute i was like no i'm gonna make like it's gonna sound big and we're gonna do it big and uh it's gonna be crispy and um yeah i kind of really only went that route (laughs) to like not (laughs) to not invade on like the raw scene and now everyone like loves it and i mean i do too it came out sweet so i'm like yeah i'm gonna keep writing music like this but yeah, that's, I mean, well, you know, it's, it's it, it, to, doing so much music stuff, talking about music over the years, blah, 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 ever, the amount of stories where it's like, oh, the thing that ended up being the clicking thing was like a kind of spur of the moment decision or like an accident or, yeah, I just, oh, I, I want to go wrong. Ah, maybe I won't. And then everybody hears it and they go, this is perfect. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fucking thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. That first song, I was bare with ghost dance, man. I was like, man, be, the day that came out, I was so nervous. I was like, this is going to flop. And get like 30 views and no one, <laughs> and no one have to like go back <laughs> and uh that's like everyone's favorite now well i guess the favorites are divided but yeah it's been it's crazy it's crazy how stuff works out yeah it, uh, yeah i mean i i love the fear also though of like it's only gonna get 30 views which w- we have this fear when we create things but if it only gets 30 f- views it's just nobody saw it so nobody knows you fucked up but we're still terrified about it we're like oh no <laughs> <laughs> but yeah obviously that is uh not the case i mean what is it last time i checked it was at something crazy <laughs> Not I, don't, to, I don't know yeah not to not to dwell on it but it is it exciting is. to go like you know uh i'm, uh, look, I'm looking now too Two hundred thousand views is a cool that when you i mean the instant the k pops in it's like really exciting <laughs> when you do anything that you're like yeah okay there's the k oh thank god oh i can it's it, it worked it worked <laughs> we did it but yeah two hundred thousand okay. for for at two hundred thousand for a black metal song is like yeah. yeah, pretty. Sakandaga pretty... is about to hit 100, and that's only like five days old or something, I think. Which yeah, is nuts. right. I mean, yeah. that's 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Panix Piss with two songs on Spotify. He's at 12 and a half thousand monthly listeners. So that's fucking huge. Yeah. I mean, it's Spotify. So I got 12 and a half monthly listeners. I can't wait for my $2 and 35 cent to come in the mail. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah the, 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 the band camp ones are the ones we like a little bit more. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, B, yeah, fashion introvert, BTS, watch out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, coming for the K-pop stars. <laughs> well, and... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a, a BTS split. Uh, <laughs> BTS Blackbirds <laughs> that would make uh, I mean I would be very happy about that just because that would make a very specific corner of black metal very very mad and it's the it's the it's the group we very much like to be mad <laughs> it, might, it might make everyone really mad I don't know <laughs> no the chat's already on board <laughs> chat's already on board so you got you, you got a, you got some people here vibing with it um <laughs> uh uh we touched that so we 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 briefly mentioned your wife and her her fantastic shield making skills uh there is kind of an interesting thing where like your music is also is almost like your marriage it like <laughs> is like a display of your marriage where you're you know a, a mixing of two influences because for those that don't know uh uh, uh his, his wife makes all uh, does amazing cosplay makes all this armor makes all these weapons and it's all it's all very european of course uh and then you get the folk influence on your side and Howdy it's yeah your fans. marriage is basically your record is that is that any <laughs> sort of kind of thing that went into it a little bit um i don't know i mean most of it would be her she does so much uh she does so much video and photo and everything for me really uh like the design everything on the design front and marketing is really her and she runs the web store like she's she's pretty much my manager um <laughs> i think it's safe enough to call her yeah she definitely does more than than the average manager would um but yeah it does end up kind of being like a mix of the two of us i think for sure because um her hands are in everything too like you know i don't know how to edit video uh well not like she does anyway um or you know photos or things of that nature like she makes all my reels and ads and stuff so uh yeah she really helps me like sell it i guess you would say and she yeah. keeps it like man there's no way we could ever have done this pre-order like without a label if i didn't have her like she she pretty much does all the the business in the dirty work and then i kind of just <laughs> do the fun shit um like she's you know organized all the shipping and uh all the all the product we need the merch the shipping um everything really the credit processing I don't. I don't understand any of that. <laughs> Credit, shit, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, that is that is the that is the thing when you you know uh, you get you get uh, uh, grumpy grumpy guys online being like, oh, these cosplayers, they're just they're just pretty and they're not doing anything for this money." Yeah. And you're like, every cosplayer is a fucking is like <laughs> would make Jeff Bezos look like a dumb bitch. Like it's uh, the yeah. amount of like the <laughs> yeah. fucking, just the amount. Yeah, she of, built the uh, the website, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, they're just <laughs> just set there building websites and and running fucking ad <laughs> campaigns, and uh, it's it's because I mean, you know, black metal. Uh, it is a very it is a yeah. very visual genre. It is like a very it, you know. So sometimes people you know be like, oh, it's just about the music, and you're like. With Black Barrel, you're like, there's no way it's just about the music. Nobody, yeah. nobody, this genre would not be as successful as it was if it wasn't for the fact that everybody looks the way they do. All the album covers look the way they do. The 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 people making it are off capes and about murdering each other. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's totally valid. I can't even remember what I was going to say, but I did have some. <laughs> something to add there just the Sorry. visual yeah you know <laughs> visual black metal you know yeah we got it we got it um uh 
uh, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you, you so you're you did this independently. Um, is there is there a thought to kind of you know pursue label world after this, or is it just like, well, why the hell would I need a label? Yeah, I don't think I will. Honestly, um, I don't want to. Re- I won't drop any names, but I got I got a lot of offers, and uh, I already turned down the one I thought I wanted. You know, so yeah. <laughs> Um, like it's, uh, it, it just so like surreal. You kind of, obviously it's my first time doing this too. So it's like, it's been a little bit of a learning curve for me. Totally. Um, with the label stuff and all, you know, that uh, whole monster, but, um, the more, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but the, the more I looked into the labels and everything they're offering me, like. Um, they're pretty much like taking on the, uh, the risk for you by like, you know, they'll give you a couple grand to print your album and then they take like more than half the sales from it. Um, and it's like, that's a really great risk. Or, I mean, that's like a really great help if you're like, you know, broke as shit and you can't do it yourself but um it's like i'm not i was like not to say that i'm not broke either because <laughs> um but like when i realized like that's pretty much all they were doing is like taking a profit so taking on the risk in the beginning so they could take a bunch of your profit in the end it's like definitely helpful to some people but i mean I have decent credit. I just took out a credit card and bought everything on credit and hoped yeah. it sold and it did. Uh, so like after we, after we did that, like after I had this epiphany one night, well, also thanks to my wife. Um, but I was pretty much like, yeah, duh, I can just buy it myself. Yeah. And then I don't have to give money to anyone. And yeah, right. like, um, and after that it was like, there's no turning back really. Cause the other end of the label, I guess is the marketing and the PR and stuff and the exposure you get from them. But like, again, I don't really, <laughs> I don't want to like toot my own horn. Here, but, um, like I was talking to some pretty big labels and at the same time I was like watching myself, like progress harder than any of the big bands on the labels. Like right. I was obviously doing more for myself than they were going to be able to do for me. Yeah. Um, so, I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to do this. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess you, I guess, I guess you just need your, 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 your wife to just create a, a name for a label and that's the label you're on. Because <laughs> she is the label. She's your label. Um, but yeah, it's, it, that yeah. Cr- I mean, there's a bit of, uh, you know, you're taking a chance on yourself, but I mean, that's, I mean, the famous story about how, Kevin Smith made clerks was he just like worked at that video store and just had got a bunch of credit cards anytime the credit card companies called up the reference he pretended to own the video store and say oh like yep so and so works here they make x dollars and he just got a bunch of credit cards and put everything on the movie on the credit cards and then thankfully it (laughs) worked out and he got the money back but yeah (laughs) yeah that's awesome I didn't know that that's like the most kevin smith fact i've ever heard though. yeah right just like <laughs> um it's pretty awesome yeah but yeah i guess that's pretty much what i did like i was definitely a little scared when we did it i was like fuck it i'm gonna put this all on a giant line of credit it's, it was like one of the more irresponsible decisions i've ever made but it's yeah, only irresponsible if it fail, doesn't so work it's fine <laughs> <laughs> it's only irresponsible if it doesn't work. It works, so it's not irresponsible. You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to think so. Yeah, um, I mean that's the thing, right? There's there is the it's it's the your your I guess technically. Hey, look at that accidental American dream. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we accidentally did the American dream. Whoops, I didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to do the American dream, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> no, it totally is. I like I like quit my job and everything. It is it, it's been pretty surreal. So what were, if you don't mind yeah. me asking, what were you doing before? Uh, I was a carpenter, uh residential carpentry. I was pretty much building houses. Oh, uh well. Docks, decks additions a lot anything you know yeah i was built i was doing construction yeah um but i i mean it all it all like really fell into place perfectly for me it's kind of kind of weird um 
like I had already taken uh, two and a half months off um, this winter to remodel my own house. Like I just redid my whole kitchen and my upstairs and stuff um, a few months ago. And like right at the beginning of that, I, uh, I had released like the first single or whatever. And like by the end of the two months, I was making pretty much the same from black braid that I was at that job. Cause also I wasn't making much like that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the sweet thing about being low income. It's like, it's not that hard to replace my income, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like once black braid really took off again, it was probably slightly irresponsible of me. It was like, well, these sales might go down, but I could just not go back to work. So that's pretty much what I ended up doing. I was like, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll just not work anymore. And if it flops, I'll go back to work one yeah, day. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, but, well, uh, I mean, that is the great <laughs> thing about like being have do carpentry, where they're not going to be like, "Can you explain this gap in your resume?" Like, that's not a that's not a <laughs> carpentry yeah, know, conversation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, no, uh, they're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're like begging me to come back still. Like, ever. <laughs> I, I definitely don't have to worry about that. But yeah, it's uh, been pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. The chat. I mean, the chat loving finding out that you're a carpenter. That's that's. I mean, that just adds to the lore too. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. in, in, indigenous carpentry black metal. <laughs> it's the new genre tag. Because we found well, yeah. a while ago, we found a uh, a mining uh, a black metal oh band. This whole whole thing is about like uh uh, uh my, like I, I European traditional mining techniques. Yeah. What's his name? What's oh. Oh, I think uh, I, you know what I think I know what this is. Uh, 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 mining, mining's real hot right now. Yeah. I, I, uh, Dalfas. Dalfas. I heard some mining dungeon synth the other day. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember exactly the pronunciation because it's got that. It's got a weird. It's got a weird letter in it. Like I said, I'm terrible saying anything. Uh, it's called Dalfas, and the the th is like a one of those p. <laughs> <laughs> with the top the double p the p that's like there's a p and then there's a b or an upside down yeah you know what i mean um uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah mining mining and then yeah let's get the let's get the carpentry yeah. going Can too I, I mean we could do it yeah we'll do like a, a rough framing concept album <laughs> I, um yeah yeah we could maybe see some carpentry incorporated into future black black raid releases i won't i won't say it definitely won't happen <laughs> my wife keeps making fun of me because like a couple of a couple of doors up from our house there was like this there was this lot it's it was an, when we bought our house it was a big empty lot and there was like signs that they were going to be building something there this uh townhome complex um and it was just an empty pit for whatever and i was like damn i guess maybe that townhome thing fell through or whatever and now they started they've been building it over they started building it this year and every time i walk my dog by i'm like oh there's houses in that one now oh they started doing brick up the side of this one and i every time i i come back into that house i tell my wife and she's like i still don't care <laughs> and i'm like no it's exciting and fun why don't you care look there's a, all of them have windows now all of them have windows now isn't that exciting isn't that exciting progress she's like I don't know why you care no, about this. That's that's like me to a T. Like even the windows, you know, we'll be driving down the road like in our town and she'll be there and I'll be just like pointing. I'll be like, I, I put that door in. And be like, oh, I, I fixed the roof on that house. I'm like I painted that house. Like, yeah. And she's just like, I don't care. Like every, every single time. But she, she tolerates it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we uh we just we just finished a deck, a new deck on the back. Uh, I I I say we it was it was me and uh my wife's best friend's partner because I'm I'm good at being told how to build things, but I'm not good at building things from like I I can't I can't I can't be raw dogging it. I need instructions. Uh I need to be instructed uh and then I'm I'm good. I can use everything fine. Uh <laughs> So we built a deck and yeah, just like walk, walking her up to everyone when the deck was done. Hey, here's a here's my here's my new deck. <laughs> you want to see my yeah. new deck? Just a lot of people being the like deck, deck is a, an old favorite of mine. I mean, yeah. a deck is one of the most satisfying things to build. 
Yeah. Especially a nice a nice wrap around. <laughs> I mean the chat the chat will tell you about how many times I was talking with the goddamn dick, which just being like, Hey guys, sorry I was late for the stream, you know. Working on the deck because <laughs> it was like in between jobs. Because my buddy uh, Matt, who is helping us, is like a uh, he's he has a very very specific uh, uh, construction job where he is a a brick like a, a predominantly like a brick stainer, but like for oh, like yeah. historic brick where it's like oh no there was oh. this like historic home where this like part broke off and we had to put new bricks up um but the new bricks obviously don't look like the hundred year old bricks so yeah. he goes and like mixes a stain and like makes d new bricks look like old bricks that's his that's his main so that's his really predominant cool. gig yeah 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 he probably gets paid more than me for that, that yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. he, those, he are tell the, those are the cool guys. You got to be really good at what you <laughs> yeah. do to like get a job like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always yeah. He's his stories are always just like yeah. You know, I'm just over it. You know, the <clears throat> one of the big biggest families in Canada. Just they they have they they brought a bunch of statues over from Europe for their backyard, but the <laughs> they're not happy with the fact that the pedestals they're on don't look like the statues. So now I'm just going and there's a a, a a forty thousand dollar statue just painting the bottom of it to make <laughs> the, the new brick and you're like jesus christ <laughs> yeah you're like can yeah, we just can we like we smash the, the windows without... when you're not working <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, yeah that's like pretty much what the carpenter does like yeah <laughs> We don't get paid that much because we break everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> uh, is, this, is this the Tool Time channel? Oh, yeah. We accidentally switched in to get excited about building. We're yeah. supposed to be talking about music. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, well, I think we I think we co covered most of the uh, most of the Blackbird <laughs> stuff I wanted to ask you because, uh, you know, uh, again, just really excited for people to hear the album because obviously we've been talking for a little while and I and I and I've heard it for a while now and it's just been listening to it a bunch and just it's just so it's it's it really is it really is a nice little breath of fresh air because uh, I, I listen to every single I listen to a little bit of every single thing that comes out every single month for like that's my job <laughs> like i listen to like 30 seconds of everything <laughs> and like the amount of black metal <laughs> the amount of black metal that comes out every single month where you're just like yeah that's black metal <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the black metal record i know so. i can't like it's hard for me to i know there's so much good shit coming out but it's hard for me to find it because it's there's so much to look at now yeah, and I've gotten so lazy. Like I don't want to. I don't want to put in the effort anymore. I used to. Yeah, but that's... I kind of am lazy and rely on other people to send me things now. Yeah, that's I. That's my. <laughs> I've taken that mantle. I've taken the. I've taken that boulder uh, that I'm. Every yeah. day, trying to roll up that hill, <laughs> just like we'll 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 find all the good metal. Yeah, I we'll mean, I like re re rely on you. Like that's yeah. how I <laughs> find that shit. I just like turn it on once a month and don't think about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. I have, I yeah. have, I have channeled my, my, uh, my, my, my variety of combining mental uh, illnesses into a slightly useful <laughs> project. <laughs> it's just a combination of obsessive compulsive where I need to look everything and anxiety that like, I'm worried that if I put something <laughs> in instead of something else, everybody's going to call me a fraud and my entire career is going <laughs> to collapse. Cause I, they're like, you put X instead of Y in. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Get him <laughs> out of here. <laughs> no, everyone seems pretty nice lately. Everyone's at least very nice. With Black Braid, but yeah, when I see your comments too, like whenever I go on any, you know, anything lately, like the internet seems to be getting a little nicer. At yeah. least to the at least to us. Yeah. Maybe maybe not in other quarters of the internet, <laughs> yeah. but Well, that's I I do like that. Yeah, it's like uh it's like uh 
It's like a the body. It's like the body is mostly good, but there's just like there's just boils that are festering and getting way worse. <laughs> We're just like you just have to be like just leave the boil over there. Maybe if we like if we lance the boil, it might get rid of it, but it might just like spill like toxic goo, and then I might get boils everywhere. So let's just I'm just gonna let that boil grow. I'm just yeah, gonna let just that boil it. grow and not look at it. <laughs> you have to leave it. That's the old. Only- <laughs> just, it's the only way just don't look at it yeah just, yeah you want you want uh you want uh you want your your four chans or your eight chans or your whatever number chans <laughs> fucking yeah go over there go over there make it uh, make have a lot make it difficult for me to access so i don't accidentally see it and you're good you're good yeah go to your go to your go to your yeah, little your closet yeah <laughs> <laughs> click <laughs> Uh, yeah orcs are my friends love understanding and satanism yep cheers to metal (laughs) uh uh, all right yeah yeah it's like how popping your pimples can lead to more breakouts it's true it is true yeah yeah um uh it's a very good analogy yeah yeah yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. People are asking. I forgot. Cheap Shot asked at the SoCal show, is there going to be a bunch of merch? Because he wants to know if he needs to bring a pile of money, which is a nice thing <laughs> to hear. Um, yeah. Hope, hopefully. Um, I'm bringing a bunch out. So as long as TSA doesn't fuck things up for me, um, we'll be good. But so are you I'm in... only. What's that? So you're, yeah, you're, you're in the U.S. though, right? Yeah, I'm upstate New York, upstate New York. Um, in, in the Adirondacks. Yeah. Um, it's uh, pretty far upstate. I'm probably only like uh, two hours from Canada, maybe. Well, hey, um, yeah, you know, yeah, you want to yeah. you, you wanna come to Toronto anytime. You got, I, got a, I got a guest room with your name on it. Um, <laughs> well, Brian, take you up on that. We, like, the- like where I am, even though we're in New York, we like uh, to drive to Montreal is – for like when big international shows come and shit that we want to see, like uh, Montreal is like almost twice as close to New York City to me. So yeah, yeah, we ha- we go up north if we if we need to go to a show or something usually. But yeah, and yeah, Vitus is like we're playing that St. Vitus show. I think it's probably gonna take me five hours to get down there. I oh, haven't yeah, driven yeah. down there in years, but yeah. Oh yeah, Vi- oh, man, I love St. Vitus. That's uh yeah, they're, they're the best. The cl- both the club the club itself and the people that run it are so nice. Yeah. Um, Pay next piss black braid toronto show needs to happen it'd be easier for me to get that than an NY <laughs> show yeah hey let's hook that up let's hook that up as soon as you can we'll get it done you got you, you got a place to stay you got a place to park and store your gear and stuff and uh uh, uh I'll, I'll make you dinner i'll it'll be like a european show it'll be like those <laughs> you ever played in europe where you just like show up and they're <laughs> like yeah this is my mom's house and you're like why are we at your mom's house and well because she's cooking me dinner and you're like she's cooking me dinner and they're like yeah and then you eat and then they're like all right let's go to the club and you're like what the hell is up with your <laughs> do you live with your mom no <laughs> what she just cooks for the bands when they come to town. She's yes, the, she's the promoter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, my my yeah. things. Sorry, I have an annoying alarm going off right now. You can probably hear it. It'll What's be done that? in two seconds. What's the alarm? It's What's for my dr- my dryer. <laughs> my dryer's going off. It sings like this beeping song when it's done. It's it's elaborate for no reason, but it's done now. So. I like, yeah. I do like an, I, it does help, like, it does, like, uh, uh, it does, like, add, like, a little level of human to a machine that kind of gives you an attachment. My rice cooker, <laughs> my rice cooker is, like, a fancy Japanese rice cooker, and it plays Twinkle Twinkle Little Star when it's done for not some reason. You're like, rice <laughs> is done. It's like, dee, 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 You're like, sick, rice, <laughs> Oh. But no, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, my dryer is, is probably made by the same people. <laughs> <laughs> so Jerushi, so Jerushi rice cooker and dryer combo. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, let's get a Toronto show going. Let's get that. That that should be no problem to do. That should be no problem to do. Um, uh, we can we can pack that out. We can pack that out for sure. Um, oh yeah, Harry. Pat shipping doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Gonna grab one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some yeah. get some stuff over to Europe. There was a little patch hang up that, with the shipping that we fixed where it was like adding weird shipping with the patches. So maybe that's what he's referring to, but yeah. it's gone now. Yeah. Can, there you yeah. go. Pay next piss. As soon as the Toronto show is booked, I'm making my travel plans. There you go. 
Sweet. I'll see you there. We'll there you it. go. Boom. Two tickets. Two tickets. Uh, three tickets done. We got three tickets <laughs> oh. to- sold already. Look at that. Show's not even announced yet. You sold three tickets. This is your. <laughs> this is just the whole. This is your whole fucking career. Album's not out. You're already selling copies somehow. <laughs> I haven't finished the album. I've already bought the next one. What? How did you do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it going. Yeah. yeah, we'll sell out this Toronto show before the end of the stream here. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, all right. So, well, th- we, we, we've we talked a lot about Black Braid, uh, and you are, of course... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I guess question. So, you... you you, you you write and record everything yourself, but then uh, you, I guess you've got some buddies. Uh, what's the live band situation like? Oh yeah, um, so I decided uh, full live band. So yeah. we're we're a five piece, including me. Oh wow, nice. Um, <clears throat> I didn't. I almost went for the guitar, but you know, I just don't. I don't want it to. I want us to be the best we can be. Yeah. And as much I'm like a guitarist at heart, so that was hard for me because I really just want to play guitar when it comes down to it. Um, but I can't have someone else do the vocals, and I don't want to do both. So, yeah, there's five of us. <laughs> um, uh, I'm still a little sour about it. Like, I do really want to play guitar, but... Um, <laughs> I love being sour about not getting to play guitar in your own band, where you're like, you could fix that, and you're like, no, I can't, but I'm mad. <laughs> you're like, then just play guitar. I can't. Then don't be mad. No, I'm mad. <laughs> All right. Well, damn. So it's, yeah. yeah, it's going to be like a, yeah, you know, full, full, full band, full performance. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, absolutely. We'll always, have, we'll always be full band. I'm not going to, it's not really music we can play without full band. So yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. But you see, I guitar is like your, your, uh, but you are doing your, how did, how did drums come into the play? Cause obviously, you know, guitar and bass are close, but yeah. How did, how did you get the drums going on yeah. in your life? I mean, <clears throat> I don't do too much for the drums. Um, Neil that Neil does a lot of them for me. Um, cause he's a phenomenal drummer. The dude who, uh, records me, um, my buddy Neil, like pretty much the, the production of the entire album was just between me and him. Like he recorded everything. We did it. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably throwing him under the bus here because he wants to like he has like a studio or whatever. But yeah, we we did it all in his bedroom, um, <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, that's he's got a really sweet studio in there. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, um, so pretty much our formula there is, like, I pretty much write the songs how I want them, and I get, like, a really basic drum structure going, like, and then I kind of just hand it off to him very abstractly, and, like, I kind of let him finesse it, like, um, sometimes I'll just let him go with it, sometimes I'll give him a little direction, like, hey, like, you know, we want, like, uh, kick snare here, and then we'll, like, move into blast beats here, and then we'll go to, you know, double bass, but... Um, when it comes to like fills and transitions and crap, I don't touch it because he's just so phenomenal. Like I could, but it would not sound good. Uh, like not like not as good as it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that was another thing, just like letting go. Like in the beginning, I really did think I was gonna do the drum myself, but um, once we got further, and um, I don't know. Once we got further and me and Neil started clicking more. I was just like, there's no way I'm not doing the drums when I could have him do the drums. Like, (laughs) so that's that's how that happened. Um, You are, you are the, the, I mean, I don't, I don't know about the rest of your life, but you are a very uh, chill dude, man. All this is like <laughs> happening. You're like, yeah, this is, this is tight. This is cool. You're like able to, you're like, I wanted to play guitar, but I'm a responsible adult and realized it wouldn't come out the best if I didn't. <laughs> I could have done the drums and I wanted to have control of them. But again, as a responsible adult <laughs> who just maxed out his credit card, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the maturity paired with the, uh, 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 irresponsibility is 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 a delightful combination yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. i guess uh 
Yeah, if you want to frame it as responsibility, <laughs> it, I feel a little better about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harry, just finished the album. Really solid work. Going to insert it in a daily rotation, which is full of hell, swans, and bell witch. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, everybody, everybody absolutely loving it. Um, uh, while you're talking about Neil, be sure to check out his band, Winterdot. Uh, uh, new record coming out soon. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we've got a, we've got a, as uh, obviously a lot of a lot of black metal fans in the chat. Um, so now I th now I think now I think that's all the black break questions I had. Um, uh, because this was yeah this was exciting because it's like and you know a lot of times you're you're doing an interview and I have to like scour the internet for it to be yeah. like i'm not trying to ask this motherfucker questions they've gotten 20 times this month but uh you know <laughs> this is this is this is one of the first times i've gotten to do it like an interview like pretty fresh with somebody that also simultaneously like everybody's pumped about it. it's not me just like dragging up some 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 metal monthly guy that, that sold 15 records because <laughs> i'm like this band, yeah. i love this band and the like who the fuck is this <laughs> yeah no it's so nuts to me too because i was not i you know i didn't even have a band six seven months ago it was like when i put out the first single <laughs> like, so oh, fuck and i've been band. watching banger tv for like a long time so it's pretty sweet to me too yeah fuck yeah all right well let's uh let's let's get to some some more banger tv business of we 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 settled on we settled on just because uh yeah uh just so that because there is a lot of one one person and then and then two person black metal projects again because we just get into that thing where drums are hard uh, <laughs> for a lot of it a lot of it is a lot of it is it's sort of a one person project but drums are hard um <laughs> if you if you you can play g guitar and and bass and sometimes synths piano all there's all a lot of crossover skill there's all a lot of uh the same and then you're like well what the fuck are these things how the hell am i supposed to use these uh <laughs> so so yeah we settled on one and two pieces for our for our tier list um uh and this is an interesting thing so normally uh when we're talking about genres we have uh we have like a category where we go like kind of the 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 proto the like the kind of what 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 we wouldn't quite count in here um that but you know feels like it should be talked about but it kind of feels like we don't need the pro i could delete the proto in this one because it does feel like it kind of like especially especially with the one and two person category it does feel like this a lot of it really just kind of sprung up and there obviously there's influences in your in your in your various uh you know your first wave of black metal and your uh and your and your adjacent stuff and your d beat a little bit and stuff like that but it does the 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 whole phenomenon of like one or two person black metal bands kind of feel like they kind of just sort of sprung up out of nowhere so i think i think i'm going to delete the proto row and keep it just we can decide on an absolute legend that would kind of you know we'll start with the legend um i think there i mean there could be a bit of argument between the legend but the legend is kind of also kind of straddles the 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 proto category uh i feel like bathory bathory could be proto but i feel like bathory could also be kind of the legend in the category with blood fire death coming out nice and early in 88 yeah. and um and kind of really being the f first question mark record of of what we're talking about here i think i think it probably is i mean when when you told me what we were doing, Bathory was my immediate thought. Yeah. For the for the legend, legendary. Yeah. I don't. I can't really think of anyone else. Like, I I love Bathory. So yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, in my mind, there's not really. Yeah, there's, there's not. not. As far as the ones and twos goes, there's no one to compete with Bathory. Yeah. Yeah, I I I mean, you know, just such a such a cat you know it really it really is uh i mean obviously there's we wish there was there we were there was still more bathroom in the world but yeah kind of really like 
helps cement things, but also creates that nice aura of mystery and legend because, you know, this is this is not something we can keep getting. We can't, you know, I just, I was just at Psycho and Mayhem was playing and, you know, and I, I, don't, I yeah. barely caught any of Mayhem set because I'm like, yeah, you know, just seeing Mayhem for the 10th time and <laughs> what will be the 20th time in my life. Um, uh, but yeah, with something like Bathory, it just, it feels so special uh uh yeah so let's ask the chat yeah. if they agree if bathory should be legend or bathory should be the proto album and i'm going with uh and i went with blood fire death just because of of all the bathory records it feels the most black metal um uh, but making Bathory legend instead of proto allows us putting Burzum at, <laughs> allows us to prevent putting Burzum as legend, which is fair, Beer Kaiser. Hey, that's a great point. <laughs> that's not a bad point you're making there. That's a point well made. Um, uh, yeah, because that's uh, that's gonna be uh, so. That's a we, last week uh, with a friend. I did the uh, essential, uh, like, well, the the ranking of all the Pantera albums, and you know, Pantera is obviously a contentious band because they've done a bunch of very dumb things. Um, but they are like, you can't you can't be like, well, Pantera is just stricken from the metal record. You're like, you can stop yeah. listening to them. You, I totally understand people stop listening to them, but we kind of their influence isn't gonna go away. I yeah, I watch. Yeah, I I watch that one. I'm I'm a massive Pantera fan, right? So like I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah like, right. You're like, what do I do about this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So it it really it, what? So what are your thoughts on? We can Bathory seems to be the legend in the voting. Everyone seems to agree. Um, uh for you what what are your what are your thoughts on feelings on because again burzum is kind of one of those things where it's hard to not talk about because of the there is the massive impact on the genre and the and the black metal culture but then there's also the complete shit bag behind it that's just <laughs> constantly making it impossible to people when people are like i get you can sep separate the art from the artist and i'm like even if you can separate the art from the artist you gotta be like a a fucking uh uh uh, 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 level 55 uh, yeah. separator of artist and art wizard to be able to because he's just constantly popping up doing dumb shit saying dumb shit <laughs> what are your thoughts yeah, I on, mean, on he's Burzum? pretty much been been banned yeah. from the internet because right? of how dumb he is at this yeah. point <laughs> he's not allowed on anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact um, yeah the fact that he's continually so dumb that it's like you, you can't sell Burzum records on eBay. He, he keeps getting Twitter accounts taken down. YouTube. I don't know. Is he on fucking Daily Motion or something now? I don't know where he's. I don't know what little. Yeah, again, the, I don't the, know if he's anywhere. I don't, yeah. Let's let's find out. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. It's uh, in my mind. There, you know, he's not the only one. There's so many shitty people yeah. in, in black metal, yeah. Um, especially. Uh, in my mind, I just try not to listen to new ones. But yeah, you know, you can't really c kill yourself for shit that you know you didn't know or thing. You know, no one knew anything in the yeah. '90s. Yeah, like, totally. um, and like, am I gonna not listen to Philosophem again? Because I, you know, I. It was like a pivotal part of my life for 15 right. years, and then I found out he was a scumbag. Like it's, it's really fun. So with anything like that, I allow myself to listen to it, but I think just make a point not to support them, which yeah. is like really easy with Vard because <laughs> yeah. you don't support him anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh fuck! But, I'm supposed to listen to him and not support him. I stopped listening to the records, but I keep buying his tabletop RPGs. Shit, I got it mixed up. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like if you, if you, you know, because all of us did. It's it's so silly to pretend yeah. like none of us listened to sketchy people before because you can't know, and it's yeah. all like so much of it has really become relevant in just in the last five years because it's so much more easy with the internet to find these things out now. So like. Obviously, I'm not going to support them, but like, 
I'm not going to kill myself either for, you know, like, I can't believe I listened to, I love bears them so much when I was 17. Like what was wrong with me? Like I was just living my life listening yeah. to black metal. So like, yeah. um, yeah. yeah, I think as long as you can't support them, I think saying that you shouldn't listen to things that have sentimental value to you is probably going a little too far. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, the, the joke I always have in my stream is like, it, listen to whatever you want, just do it at home under a blanket. <laughs> just like, <laughs> go home, put a blanket over you so no one knows you're doing it, and just just, just <laughs> be nervous that someone's going to catch you. That's all, that's all I tell people. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, yeah, that I think I, I remember first hearing Verzum, and it was at the time, like, Varg had a website and uh you know i got really into burzum because it was like exactly the sound of the music that i wanted to hear and varg is very good if you're like if you go at varg with uh, slightly optimistically varg is really good especially when you're young at like talking you into he's not a <laughs> you know what i mean like he's like yeah. very good at talking <laughs> you into like no it's fine like i'm not I'm not a racist. <laughs> I'm not a racist. I'm just a racialist. I'm just, I don't think anyone is bad. I don't think anyone should not exist. I'm not, I just think, you know, there's, you, you know, oh, oh, what if I do this and then they lose their culture too? And he's really good at like talking like that. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I guess, I guess, you know what? Yeah, you know, I don't fully agree with him, but he's a, uh, uh, and then, and then eventually you're like, you watch those <laughs> interviews where he's like, uh, yeah, he'll he'll be talking about like murdering your animus and he'll be like, yeah. I don't know what the big deal was. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He's like, everyone got really angry after that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, all right, dude. Yeah, he's really good at yeah. he's really good at saying the 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 loud part loud and the quiet part quiet. He's really that interview like from until the light takes us where he t walks you through the whole story and he's like, yeah, you know, Uranus was gonna kill me. He had just bought a stun gun. He had all this rope. He was like this plan. We got in a scuffle in the hall. <laughs> Way. and then he's like admittedly i didn't see a stun gun or the rope and he seemed kind of confused um but i i didn't stab him 23 <laughs> times i just stabbed him with the knife i had and some glass broke and when i stabbed him he fell on broken glass and so that's why he went up with so many more cuts <laughs> and you're like <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, he's like really good at being like, and then yeah, the stun gun wasn't there, but like he was gonna kill me, and it was me, or it was like one of those fight or flight yeah. me or him things. So then I drove three hours home, and you're like, wait a minute, you were three hours away <laughs> <Yeah>. from him. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, I drove there just to defend myself. <laughs> I drove there in self defense. It's like the American stand your ground half the time you hear these oh cases, God. and you're like, we were at a gas station, and they said something rude to me. So I walked up to them and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty accurate too, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, all right, we, we've discussed Burzum, but we will not be putting a Burzum album in visually in here. We all know it's important. <laughs> it's very important, but, uh, but uh, fuck off. <laughs> um, <laughs> But you, you very ingeniously uh, had the one and two piece idea, so we can not talk about Burzum and talk about Dark Throne. Yay! <laughs> so I oh, actually got, I got caught with my pants down earlier um, because uh, I had included uh, uh, a blaze in the northern sky. Not remembering that technically that is a three piece band at the time. Um, but I corrected it. It's now, uh, I was not thinking cause Panzerfaust is my favorite, uh, dark throne record outside of circle the wagons, but circle the wagons is not relevant to our current conversation. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, but tr I know Transylvanian hunger is like, I, I don't know if it's more important or more essential to people. Um, so, um, Oh man, a banger TV mystery science 3000 watch of when the light takes us would be hysterical. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. That'd be pretty fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, what, what's, what's your life experience with Dark Throne? Uh, uh, what's your, what's your feelings? What's your thoughts there? Um, <laughs> they're gonna, they're probably gonna hate me for this. I think... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my life experience with Dark Throne, but I think my favorite Dark Throne record would actually be Arctic Thunder. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, I... my favorite is Circle the Wagon. So we're coming with some spicy takes yeah. for for yeah. everybody. They're going to cancel us like like Varg after this. <laughs> you hear what they said about Dark Throne? <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, I, that just me. I really love Arctic Thunder. Um, I, my first introduction to them was, you know, the older stuff. Yeah. Um, like Transylvanian Hunger, I think was probably the first Dark Throne I heard. And I love that stuff. It's nostalgic for me, but if I'm being a hundred percent honest, like if I'm going to throw on some Dark Throne, I'm I'm going for Arctic Thunder first. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah, like I said, yeah, I I I do I do I do grappling, and I got a, a rash guard printed with the Circle the Wagons album art on. <laughs> it's just an all over <laughs> yes. print of the circle, and I, I grapple men with it on. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I fully I fully relate to the um, the uh, the yeah. Well, it, I understand <laughs> yeah. the importance of these records, but the one I'm going to put on is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I, uh, I mean, I think I think one of the things that again it really speaks to for me the like kind of complete picture of of uh, of what black metal is and the appeal and everything and the personalities is the thing that yeah so Burzum was sort of how I how I like got really excited about black metal and then I started to learn more about Varg and I started to get bummed out and then at the same time you learn more about Fenris and you just get like <laughs> and then he's he's like it's yeah. like it's like yes. they were it's like they were one person and they got split in half and it's like the the yin and yang got separated <laughs> uh, yeah he's just they're just so funny and playful and silly and just that's the kind of like uh, uh, the energy that I feel like I bring to metal is like he's really my like, yes. my like ideal with you know fucking I I I I playing in this very important seminal band for this really extreme music and then I can also very easily find a picture of you like this in front of a uh, si seven foot ice cream cone like that's that's the energy <laughs> I want out of my favorite artist so um uh, let's yeah, see. I mean Fenris is a hero to pretty much anyone that's listened to black metal, I think. And, uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say about that. They're, yeah. They're great. They could almost, they could almost vie for the legendary. Yeah, I know, right? They were, yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I've got to spell Transylvanian on myself without, <laughs> <laughs> without the assistance of a, of a dictionary. Um, all right. Um, what's the Dark Throne pick, chat? We'll leave it up to you. Um, the the kind of two early uh, best two piece <laughs> Dark Throne albums: Transylvanian Hunger and Panzerfaust. There's a poll in the chat. You can pick. Um, uh, uh, what's it's great a, about Fenris? It's a tough decision. Yeah. What's great about Fenner is, is the, he had a shitty, edgy opinion in the past, but he's grown from it and seems to not hold those views anymore. Yeah, I mean, there's that explicit statement where he said, you know, when I was young, I was mad at a lot of people and I was projecting a lot of anger onto like other races and stuff. And then I, when I got older, I realized it was a, it had nothing to do with them and it was an internal thing and I needed to address it myself. And you're like, that is the wow you just wrote the textbook on how to appropriately answer for like <laughs> what shit it like if you released a sketchy thing in the past like just like fucking totally yeah. honest totally I accepting didn't... responsibility i didn't even know that he was sketchy at one point but yeah that's just uh i'm also guilty of like i don't dig as deep as i should almost. i mean all the time so yeah yeah i mean you know there's there's I, yeah. I don't i don't think you know we need to start holding everybody at gunpoint to to you know be like did you did you but did, yeah. did you search did you search band name yeah. plus nsbm plus races on uh it won't come up on google <laughs> you gotta go to duck duck go search engine you gotta bing it and you'll find an article <laughs> from 2002 where he said uh, uh this high word school newspaper and, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, he when oh, yeah. he was 16, he dressed as Hitler for Halloween <laughs> and you didn't find you didn't find his yearbook photo. You didn't search the band plus the high school. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's 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 yes, that's uh, chat pointing out that is frequently my job. Again, this is one of the I'm not I I I I can't play any. I'm just so inept at mu at music. I play drums a bit, but. I've always been very bad at playing music, so uh, uh, but I love music, so I have taken like the I've taken the I've I've just been like here's my con I can't contribute musically I will take the unpleasant tasks that people don't like doing and I will do them because I find them satisfying, <laughs> which is uh, finding obscure bands and making sure they're not bigots. Uh, <laughs> You should be allowed to be stupid when you're young. You just have to grow up and stop being stupid. Exactly, the hoppy. Exactly. I mean, everyone, you know, fucking Dragon Force had a racist band. And when you're like, you guys had a racist band. Oh, they're God, like, what? I know. It was very stupid. We're sorry. We shouldn't have done that. We were <laughs> teens. We thought it was funny. And you're like, okay, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Because, I mean, as, as annoying as it is that that should exist like i don't think any of us were doing politically correct things before the age of 20 yeah. like <laughs> i know right i mean you know so, the, well when you yeah. think about like the 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 movies and tv that taught us like humor and everything yeah. and and <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's, I mean, like there's all these conversations happening and people are like, why are we having these conversations? And you're like, these conversations are very necessary. I wish someone had these conversations when I was a teen. Cause I did some shit that I look back and I go, well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but really could have avoided that pothole, but now we're here yeah, we, and we're growing we from it and we're yeah. growing, we're growing as people. Um, uh, the chat, the chat saying, um, uh, Satyricon got to be next. Satyricon, yes, would be the next early kind of again uh, of the of the kind of definitive black metal bands. And you know, again, it's such a it's such a simultaneously narrow and broad genre where uh, you've got you've got uh, all these different bands. And I mean, we're only this we're talking about a third band. And again, there's just like a big a big difference between between all of them and you know satiricon like almost being like one of the one of the like i don't know early early professional <laughs> like ones that seem to be like we need we yeah. I, I have art i ha i am trying to communicate yeah. art to people uh i would like to present this <laughs> and you know not like <laughs> a little less a little less than a <laughs> thing but yeah um uh yeah i mean to to tear god hands down i would say as well like, for the next one yeah. absolutely yeah yeah it seems like uh seems like a no brainer i've got i've got dark medieval times although i will hear if there's any in the chat that have an argument um uh uh I have no hard feelings on Satyricon, except for the fact that they're bitches for removing the original versions of Dark Medieval Times and Shadow Throne from streaming them from streaming platforms and replacing them with shitty remasters. Oh damn, they George Lucas did? I didn't know that. I didn't know they George Lucas the streaming platforms. Um, uh, I, I think I did know that. Yeah, because I listened to the new one when it came out. Um, but honestly. It's uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna piss off all the banger people today. I'm just saying all these ignorant <laughs> Yay, things. Yay! I listened to the new one, but it had been so long since I heard the old one. I was like, eh, like I don't really remember what the difference was. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it sounded good to me when I heard it. They it's changed the artwork to too. That's interesting. I didn't know they changed the artwork. They did, too. yeah. And I, the changes I, are abysmal. I yeah, I yeah. I have uh. I am like, I am very, uh, I'm very obsessive about things. So I, there's like, I, I need to be able to like make my little catalog and stuff. So yeah, I don't listen to a lot. I don't listen to a lot of stuff on streaming platforms. The only time I use streaming platforms is, is when I'm driving because I, can just yell at my car <laughs> to play an album I'm in the mood for. Other than that, I'm like one of those people that's got one of those a massive a separate hard drive for my MP3 library. So ain't nobody yeah, touching my album artwork. I have cu curated yeah. and maintained that album artwork. They're not getting <laughs> you in there. still have the original. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sucks for sucks for everyone else. Like yeah. they didn't change it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. You know where they didn't change it? Soul Seek. Get owned. <laughs> <laughs>
Just like just like every time I watch Star Wars, I'm still dragging out. Uh, I'm still dragging out. Uh, yeah, a hard drive to be like, no. When I was when I was 16, I downloaded a, a, a theater screener of the <laughs> of the from 1970, and uh, I that's the version we watch. <laughs> yeah. No, no changes. Everything's original. Um, but yeah, so that seems again, you know, uh, uh, with the in the. Uh, in the no-brainer. Oh, did I? Did it give me the? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> where are we at? Where are we at? I'm trying to find. I'm looking at a bunch of tiny ass fucking. Here we go. Here we go. So yeah, no, I don't. No one. No one arguing. No one arguing on the Satyricon album pick. Everyone obviously acknowledging that there's there's no way we're not putting Satyricon on there. But uh, uh, anyone anyone got any anyone got any different takes on the album? Blaine volume spike. Uh oh, something happened. Uh oh, oh no, something happened. Are we good? Huh? I can hear you good. Okay. I can okay. hear you pretty good. My mic I'm just, just got. I'm staring at these. Uh, I'm I'm zooming. I'm grilling the little albums down there. Yeah. I'm looking uh, at them. Uh. There's some in there. <clears throat> There's some in there. I didn't know were ones and twos. Yeah, I mean, I that's... I didn't do my research. <laughs> you didn't do your research. Like I said, hey, hey, you don't have to. It's my job. Uh, yeah. Are we good? We're good? I think you just got super close to the mic for a second. Sorry, I just... Uh, I love the chat so much, I wanted to give you all a smooch. That's all. Um, oh, there's another Dark Throne down there. Oh, so, so I, I brought I brought in just in case... Albums. You know, I got multiple albums by some bands in case there's some disagreement on which one because I can... You know, I anticipate some, some, some push and pull with something um uh so you know sometimes i bring in i bring in a, a multiple album or two um and uh uh yeah thankfully thankfully the next album i want to talk about uh is the 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 two-piece loophole we got the two-piece loophole um because <laughs> because one of my this is like this is and sometimes like it's weird because they're a very big band but it's almost it, they're kind of bigger for their other material. Um, but Blue Dust Nord is, you forget, has been around. First of all, you forget, has been around for fucking ever um, uh, since 94. And memory, the, the Memoria Vetusta series is my favorite Blue Dust Nord records. Uh, and uh, the first one released was, there was only two of them at the time. And they're, I mean, it's kind of always been a two piece in just that, you know, they, uh, there's like a, a a songwriting core and then like kind of some people they wrote in. But um, yeah, the memory of Atusta, all three of them are amazing. All three of them are like, that was when I found those records, I was like, this is exactly how I want my black metal to sound. It's just so like, it's so perfectly washed out and just sounds like it's, it's not, it, it's, it's, it's that beautiful combination of like, it's almost like it's raw black metal, but it's not because any of it is recorded like cheaply or incorrectly or in somebody's, you know, in somebody's weird, re someone's mom's rec room. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it, you know, just a really, I, I think one of the, if, if you like atmospheric black metal, uh, there's no better full series of records. Memoria of Atusta 2 is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, the, uh, but that came a little later, so that would fall in modern. Um, and you know, it's, a uh, it, it's, it's good to look and go, oh, wow, that was, I can't believe, I can't believe that record was 96. It's crazy to think that that, yeah. Cause that, you know, it is a band that a lot of people focus on like the weird industrial kind of avant-garde stuff they do, but it's, it's. I can't think of another band that can simultaneously both be like the revolutionary pushing the boundaries industrial band as well as the like exactly crisp cold lo-fi stripped down sound um yeah one of my favorite uh you still have to buy that new blue dust nerd record oh because i'm OG? yeah they're off on their weird they all found out what <laughs> dmt is or whatever now and they're just fucking <laughs> tripping balls every time they record an album now um but don't forget they did have a period of just being a icy cold crisp black metal band do you uh you listen to them at all um i do but i don't i don't know that one admittedly you got up there 
Yeah. Um, I didn't realize they were that old. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. That one's not on my radar. I'm sorry to say. Hey, that's no, <laughs> that that's what the green one there. That's the yeah. beautiful thing. That's what the uh, that's what the show does. You know, I, I I come with some records that that aren't on your radar. You come with some records that aren't on my radar, and uh, the chat fills uh, fills in some gaps too. And we all we all wind up with some records, some homework, some homework. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, I have, so I've got my homework now. So that's uh, so that was one of my essential early picks. Do you have? Um, do you have any? What's your? What's the next kind of essential early you'd uh, you'd toss up there? It doesn't have to be for my little thing. I can add albums. You don't have to pick for mine. Your your input is what we is 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 what we're here for as well. So you don't just have to pick from those. Any kind of any any black metal album, like I said, I can I can I can get on the old ones and twos, download the album cover, and uh, we'll be good. <laughs> I'll I'll be honest, I. They didn't prepare that much for this because right. I've been so crazy. Yeah, I mean, but I was. It was a lot I, to ask you. Uh, there's some other <laughs> things going on in your life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I am gonna go with. I didn't even know. Again, like I said earlier, um, some of these I didn't realize that they were ones and twos. Yeah. But I see Arcanum down there. Arcanum. Yeah. However you yeah. say that. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh That's that's another. It's another one of my faves. Yeah, again, there's some. That's the cool thing about the show. Sometimes you go like, there, there's an Arcanum record that came out in 1997. Yeah. What the fuck? I <laughs> I love that record so much, I know, but right? I didn't know that they were a two piece or yeah. a one piece. What is it? A two? Uh, a two? I think it's or a one. one. It's a one. It's one dude. Yeah. It's uh. It's Shamatai. 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 Um. Uh. And yeah. Just uh. Just you know. Um. Fucking. What a. Yeah. I mean, I love that record, album. Right. I would just definitely like, put that would be mine for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> uh. 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 Yeah. The. The the insanity. It's like again the the difference between the the difference between everything we've put up there. Uh, this is the you know I we we get our first kind of like really folk. Uh, we get our first uh really kind of folk influence of the stuff we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, Metal Cat's here. Hey, Metal Cat. It's our favorite streamer smile. Um. Yeah. You didn't miss it. We're just we're just talking about we. You missed the interview portion with Black Braid, but. Sh we're getting into the black metal record. Just um, the important part. Just uh, just the important part. I thought I missed it. You didn't miss. You didn't. Miss. Howdy, banger fans. Hey, Derek Beerkaiser, thanks for gifting this up to Metal Cat as well. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's also an interesting record because normally when you combine when you have like folk influences on a record, the black metal is not as fucking chaotic as these record as, yeah. as his records yeah. are, and yeah. Um, uh, fuck Arcanum for naming that fucking record. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> I think that's. Yeah, I think yeah. that's how you pronounce it. That <laughs> is it. I don't know. I don't know what that's that the sound most is. accurate pronunciation attempt I've ever heard. I think so. though that that that's that's pronounced. <laughs> metal Cat Black Braid is her favorite new black metal band. Hell yeah, that's. I mean, that's the that's the talk of the town, uh, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Metal Cat's gonna I'm be stoked. stoked on that. Yeah, yeah, nope. yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody. That, again, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, uh, it is kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it is like a it's a little crazy. It's crazy to just look at from the outside. Like, holy fuck! Holy fuck! Um, but yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's been. Uh, I I love the stream because it's always one of those things where you're like, wow, this is sick, and then you like, I I get to like goof around with someone, and then it turns out they're like fun and cool and it gets you even more stoked about the records i've had i've had real good luck with uh my i i got a good i got a good spider sense for whenever i uh whenever i feature a band um that they're a, a fun silly person on top of everything <laughs> that i can just josh around with yeah no man i'm pumped i've been watching this channel forever so yeah it's fun for me yeah yeah uh all right so uh boots and cats i made home for the stream woo yeah this is one people people were all excited about people were rushing home from work for this goddamn stream um <laughs> 
So yeah, uh, and then yeah, so Metal Cat getting here just in time for us to for us to talk about. Yeah, uh, uh, everyone reminding me that I had missed um, that I had uh, that I had critically Howdy missed. Howdy banger fans! Again, it's one of those weird things where it's uh, it's it's like it's easy to search like essential black metal albums to remind you of essential black yeah. albums but when you start when you start adding like a weird you're know, like essential one and or two <laughs> person black metal uh the albums uh if they if they lost one person in their career and released an album with only two people on it that can count that's eligible uh blah uh, uh so yeah a little trickier little trickier this one but um well, thanks to pain x piss in the chat for reminding me metal cat one of her favorite bands, uh, Summoning. Summoning, of course, being, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, again, one of those, one of those, uh, one of those two pieces that you forget started in fucking 1993 and released uh, a shit ton of records in the 90s. Um, I uh, have Minus Morgul up there uh, as the as the kind of main record, but uh, if the chat chat is, the, am I correct? Am I correct, or are we putting, are, are we getting some some clause here? I'll I'll put a poll in the chat. I'll put a poll in the chat. God, I have to. Take What's this. the what would be the contender to Minus so, Morgul there? So in the '90s, they released. Uh, I mean, their first record's not great. Um, but in the '90s, they released three albums, which is Minus Morgul, Doll Golder, and uh, Stronghold. So, okay, what we summoning? We get we the chat has a poll feature, so we love getting the you know. Uh, no, that's awesome. We love I'm... getting the poll going for the chat because everybody. Every, I mean, I I love I love polls. <laughs> I'll like I'll I'll find polls on I'll be reading a, a news story for, and I just will see a poll that I'm like well I don't give a shit about any of these things but what are the results let me view the results let me read those results I'm curious you got me curious I love a poll all right and yes chat I am repeatedly saying I love a poll save it for my stream your reaction to that um uh okay the poll is up for the summoning record. Uh, you can pick Miss Morgul, uh, Dull Golder, or Stronghold because I mean, yeah, this, you know, summoning. I mean, especially in the '90s, there, yeah, they had a pretty, they had a pretty bulletproof streak of releasing very solid records. And I mean, yeah, uh, you know, they, 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 they really have a very. I mean, a very consistent sound, a very consistent discography. And again, you know, uh, uh, talking about the kind of difference of just the, like, the, 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 this is kind of the biggest sound of all of them. This is our kind of like first, like, yeah. epic, epic of all. They the... kind of like, yeah, they definitely kind of pioneered that, that part of the genre, I think. Yeah. And just, that... again, the kind of surprising thing that, that, that those pioneers are, again, just two, two dudes, two dudes hanging out. Um, uh, oddly as <laughs> Opa's the blood God, oddly as a Tolkien nerd, my favorite summoning record isn't named after a place in middle earth. <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn. Are you, is, is your heart breaking? Uh, uh, Dol Golder, uh, if we're going with nineties, then I vote stronghold. Dol Golder is underrated though. I love that album. Such a chill record. Yeah. If we're talking about something, we should also talk about Falconback. Is that is that two piece? Is that I'm not as that familiar with Falconback. I do. If I was gonna pick a summoning album from those three albums, I would probably go for Stronghold though. Stronghold. Everybody's picking a Stronghold. That's my. That's a personal preference. But yeah. Well, hey, no, that's what we're here about. We're here about personal preferences. And damn, I mean, it seems like. It does also seem like, hey, uh, there's 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 not exactly a wrong answer in that the chat is like pretty evenly. Uh, well, Stronghold is winning, but it's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. Seven to ten. Seven to ten. Seven to ten with Stronghold in the lead. <laughs> Stronghold took it. Stronghold took it. A um, couple of votes for Dole Golder there. That just means that I have to do work, though. That's the that's the. Cause I, <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, I, uh, part of the fun of this is I, I'm also kind of like placing bets. I'm like, it'll be this record. And then, oh, yeah. and then it's not. And I'm like, Fuck. I can't wait <laughs> when we get to essential. I have, uh, a lot of the ones I had in mind are not on there. So Ooh, we'll there we go. Debates Fucking there. love it. That's what I love. Or the modern, the modern, you know modern. what I mean? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
I, uh, yeah, because I mean, it is, it, it is definitely a thing with, I mean, it feels like out of everything that I listen to, black metal, I mean, it's partly because I just really love black metal, but there's so much, I, there's so much black metal. There's so much, there so is. much, so I'm much. I'm sure we're going to miss, we're going to miss someone huge too. And then we're going to get yelled at after. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's too much. Like, we can never, so... we, yeah, we can't get it all. <laughs> I'm actually, I've never, I've, I've never, I've never done this, but let's go to metal archives and let's go to metal archives and let's go to advanced search and let's just put the word black. Well, let's just do black metal. Cause, so it's not like black and blah, blah, blah. Black metal has 43,000 entries. And what does death metal have? Death metal has, uh, death metal has 52,000 entries. And no way. I have, I can't, yeah, it feels like there's way more black metal. And thrash metal has 31,000 entries. Hmm, 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 hmm. What if we, okay, but now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. What about the influence? What if we just search black? If we just search black, we're getting 43,000. And if we just search death, we're getting 52,000. So creeping up. But yeah. Yeah. My other favorite is death. I don't like doom. Okay. Yeah. Awesome death. numbers. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it does feel like <laughs> late. I mean, it feels also like yeah. it, part of it is that there is like such a, you know, death metal obviously gets, uh, got a head start there. And, uh, and nowadays yeah. it feels like death metal's fucking trying to catch up, like cranking out records. Um, uh, and okay. So, uh, I mean, we've got five, we've got five early modern records up on the board. We pick five for each category. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then is the chat is the chat is the, are we missing anyone huge have i made an error have we have we overlooked anyone is there is there uh is there anything that you think we we fucked up we didn't we don't have don't say burzum fuck you <laughs> don't say fucking burzum uh, <laughs> <laughs> best, i think there's a glaring omission but i need to make sure it's a solo project double check double check yeah what do we got is there any is there any uh is there any anyone we're missing? A bunch of Vargamotes in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's got to be one or two piece. It's got to be one or two piece. They can only have one or two members. So that's what we're doing. We were we were starting with one, but then we realized it one is a little tricky. But with two, two is a nice restrictor because as we're seeing, there's just yeah. so much fucking black metal. If we just did black metal, or even if you just like, okay, fine, we'll do atmospheric black metal. Oh fuck, look at this fucking pile of records. All right, we'll just do. You can't black metal. You need like a weird. You need a really weird specific uh, 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 prefix on what we're doing to be able to make it manageable in one stream at all. Yeah. You think for early we're good? Um, uh, I, okay, I'm pretty comfortable with that early yeah. selection there. Yeah, that, that seems cool like a me. really if 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 I was presenting someone a, an introduction to the the weird world of uh, not full sized black metal bands. Um, yeah, not, the, the the very unique <laughs> world because it's like you're not getting a lot of you're not getting a lot of two piece uh, you're not getting a lot of two piece death metal yeah. bands. Not a lot of one piece <laughs> death metal bands. Um, <laughs> yeah you're blind i'm you're blind so i didn't see the giant font at the top that says solo and duo yeah well i mean you know it's we we are our our <laughs> eyes are terrible at taking in all information at one time the amount of times i'm like fucking just at, doing it i i hate crosswords but my wife likes crosswords so i'll sometimes try and help with her crosswords and i'll be reading and i'll be like that makes no sense and then eventually when i see the answer i was like oh that i just was reading that fucking clue as an entirely wrong <laughs> fucking question <laughs> All right, though. So now we're getting into the period where things get juicy, contentious, and where we've got a shitload of albums to go through. We're now getting into the period of the modern period, which is 2000s and on. Um, uh, um, uh, so where do we start in 2000s and on? Um, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna take our inaugural first pick from the of the modern period, the essential. Yeah. Kind of the first thing that jumps to your mind. 
Yeah, I'll go. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh be a rebel here. There's some on here that are probably more influential than what I'm about to say. Love it. No, we love but, that. Uh there's one on here that I was thinking of that I don't see. I'm gonna throw Caladan Brood out there. All right. And what record are you tossing? Caladan Brood only ever made one record. And oh, I right. yeah. uh <laughs> Yes, you're right. <laughs> In what's it called? Echoes of Battle, I believe. Echoes of Battle, yeah. Name. Um, maybe that's a bold statement, but I don't. It, when it comes to modern black metal, I don't think there's a better, like dark, you know, fantasy e atmospheric album than that. Maybe. I'm sure these guys will think of the the chat will think of like 10 other cooler ones as soon as i put that out there but well we've uh, got we've got uh we've got the chat popping off it, it's perfect goat pick um uh uh yes for metal cat uh ogreish one record full of bops uh all or, <laughs> th thank you john it's perfect goat pick yeah dear, dear beer kaiser even tosses some bits to say fuck yeah um yeah so well fucking yeah again you caught me a little bit with my pants down um so let's <laughs> but i've downloaded it and um uh, i'm getting it because yeah that is that is a great pick i mean it's it you know it again it's it's the thing all the guests it's always like and even with me it's it, you know the the record that first jumps to your mind is you know we're human beings we're not like well this was the biggest record um and part of the reason you know we have the guests on we, we do is that they're not you know they have a they are not like well my favorite record is the biggest <laughs> record in the genre i like metallica most, i love metallica <laughs> um you know we did we did uh we did a uh a metallica uh lock horns for their albums and even with that you know everyone's got their own um uh, their own yeah. spicy take and me saying yeah there's probably more fighting involved in yeah. that than this yeah. one i mean <laughs> Someday Blaine will listen to chat's pre-list suggestions. Yeah, but then don't you like if 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 your suggestion was up there when the show started, would you feel as cool as when I had to go download it? <laughs> would that not did, does this not make you feel cool? Does this not make you feel like you're like in an elite club? The uh the getting Blaine to do some downloading club. <laughs> chat says Blaine is an asshole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe Lamp of Murmur would be on the list if you listen to us. I oh, I thought oh, of Lamp of Murmur. They would. I don't know. I just they're the band name. I got confused. I the, the band name made me think of Drowning the Light, who are racists. <laughs> That's why Lamp of Murmur wasn't on there. Because <laughs> I accidentally lumped them in with racists, um, which we've all we're all guilty of. <laughs> Lamp is too new. We'll get to new. We'll get to even brand new. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, 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 I'm going to, uh, incredibly briefly talk about a record that will just get out of the way. I'm just going to get it out of the way. Um, cause, uh, I, I know it won't go on there cause no one's ever heard of this band, despite the fact that me, I constantly yell about it. People still haven't heard about it. Um, but, uh, uh, I'm just going to, I'll preemptively put it in the rest. So no one gets mad. I'm not trying to, I know not enough people have heard of it, but I will constantly tell people to listen to it's, it's spelled Weedard, but it's German. So it's pronounced Vidard W E D A R D. The album's called Ein Sammer Winterweg came out in 2006. Although I love everything he's released. Um, it's a weird German guy that doesn't do a lot and has just released some records and i don't know anything about him as a person and i will <laughs> continue i like the records <laughs> way too much to to every once in a while i'm like not gonna investigate and nobody in the fucking chat better investigate either um but yeah it is the like the it's blue dust nord level like washed out uh ultimate kind of atmospheric relaxing um just i put it on i it's it's a wreck it's it's the black metal record that you know there's I, I always talk about there's a handful of records um i listen to when i'm in the hospital because i've been in the hospital several <laughs> times for surgeries um and there's a couple of records that can really just like 
make me ignore the pain in my new body wound and relax and chill out and this is one of those records so um i will put that there i will mention it and then uh and then i will uh not and then i will not dive any further <laughs> love it when blaine pronounces german words yes we've just we've established i cannot pronounce any words regardless of language it's all right. It's all right. That's why I chose to avoid a profession where I talk for a living. What's the name again? I'll put a link to the band camp in the chat even. I'll put a link to the band <laughs> camp in the chat because, again, I'm just – I love this. And if he suddenly just sold, like, you know, a uh, 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 hundred records out of nowhere, maybe he'd, uh, maybe he'd fucking put out a new record already. Um, <laughs> dickhead. The album cover's different because he always has a bunch of different album covers. Um here we go. Here we go. There you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. There it is. There it is. We chatted. We chatted about that. Um, uh, I'll now take a suggestion from the chat. What do you think? What's the What's the thing that jumps to your mind the most when you think of essential modern one or two piece black metal? This is where we can get into. This is where the more the more of the one pieces will will uh, will flourish. Um, Godzilla's, yeah, I want to, uh, uh, oh yeah, Leviathan and Zather are two, are two big ones. Now that, you know, um, Leviathan being a slightly, uh, 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 complicated band due to the fact that the guy in it is, uh, we'll say a complicated man, but, um, very much, uh, very much, I mean, the, it's, it's. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, there's Leviathan and Zather for sure. Yeah, those are two, it's two of like the weirdest guys, just two guys that you're like, when you're like, oh, why did, why did John make a, a one man black metal record? And it's like, oh, well, because clearly he just, you know, had an idea and wanted to make it. And you're like, why did Leviathan and Zather make one man black metal records? Uh, because they are uh, working with people, work, them working with other people is untenable. They are God, they should be they should be locked in a room and not be allowed to do anything but spit out black metal records. We'll like force in some burgers every once in a while and they can slide out a black metal record through a slot. Um yeah, Leviathan being just uh, you know, uh uh a, a real a real uh, again, kind of just one of those bands that really Leviathan, I remember getting Leviathan records kind of uh very early on and it being one of the uh the acts that really kind of kind of caused me to spill down the the uh the one man the at home the, the the loner the strange loner black metal records um you know he's definitely able to create uh i mean you know this is that weird thing where you're like maybe the fact that he's such an asshole is why this record sounds like this because it does sound like a record made by a fucking asshole <laughs> yeah yeah that's very true yeah <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we're doing Leviathan. I yeah. mean, I would have, I would have put that too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. on. Un, it's undeniable. Undeniable. Yeah. Um, I got the, I got the ten sub level of suicide on there. Um, that's my favorite Leviathan record. I don't know if anyone in the chat feels anything, uh, uh anything different. Um, oh, someone's saying, uh, as a, uh, as a whiskey aficionado loving the loving your collection in the back going on <laughs> loving the loving the booze collection yeah oh. you, you definitely really catered to the stream perfectly that's, booze and a shield that's actually my uh it's again it's like my wife doing all of the catering because that's her <laughs> shield and that's also her booze like i i really don't drink whiskey ever it's not uh it's not much of a thing of mine I, I i i'm kind of a lightweight i drink a lot of beer Drink a lot of beer, yeah, yeah. I, She's a whiskey uh, lady. That's all hers back there. Whatever's back there is her her deal. That's my. I have I have three beverages. I mostly drink. The stream mostly sees me drink. I drink Bush Light because it's just it's water. I'm drinking Bush Light right now. Yay! What? Oh my god! Oh. I've been drinking it. I've been drinking it out of a slow cup. <laughs> <laughs> see i man i told you my 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 spidey sense for when i find a band uh i don't know i don't know what it's based on uh that's... <laughs> Paid sponsorship? yeah i wish i wish i wish especially because in canada we don't get the like sick variant cans that come out in the states you know the oh yeah those can. john deere ones just disappeared i was trying to get them for the show oh god but... yeah 
I There's none it. left, so I went with the mug instead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is home improvement now, motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do. I do like beer, but then I'm also a, a, a Scotch whiskey man, and then my my but my trick lately because i because I, I do shows as a stand-up and you know i have to be in a bar and i drink is i get uh i get in you know because i i've obsessed i've obsessed with compulsive disorder so if i have something in my hand i like get anxious and i drink just really fast so what i do is i get in a pint glass <laughs> i get them to make a single vodka soda so it's like this much vodka and then like this much soda water and i'm like i have a beverage that i i am naturally paced by uh having to get through an entire fucking pint of soda water to get to one shot of vodka it's a good <laughs> it's a good strategy especially maybe, if you're a lightweight maybe i have ocd that that sounds real familiar to me yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> OCD and anxiety combining to be like, I'm nervous in this social situation. I have a drink. I will focus on the drink. Sip. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. All right. I'm, I have th this conversation. Part of the conversation doesn't include me. If I just sip, it doesn't look awkward. It looks like I'm part of the conversation. I don't know what's going on in my head, but, you know, it's. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, anyways, anyways, yes. Uh, what is the best Zather, do you think? I like uh, Gate Through Bloodstained Mirrors and Telepathic to the Deceased. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, so for me, of, of Zather, yeah, I, I put, I put the, the two I put on there is the uh, Telepathic with the Deceased and uh, Subliminal Genocide are the two I put. Um, but we're having, damn, we're having a lot of different uh, Bloodstained Mirrors is Zather's best. Damn, there's no consensus on Zather. I love this. That's, again, that's the point of the show. So, yeah, I mean, again, just a very a very uh a very <laughs> unique and specific man um i don't know if anyone watched <laughs> that like the the yeah, yeah him I just watched it. <laughs> yeah yeah with him just being like yeah you know i just wear a plain black t-shirt and have no hair so that no one will talk to me in the grocery store and you're like okay <laughs> and he's like yeah and this is the windows i've papered over so no one can see me and you're like okay <laughs> you're like i'm enjoying these records but uh i don't want to ruin it but uh should you get help? <laughs> Should you like <laughs> stop making these records and like talk to somebody? Because it seems like He's like I installed this mail slot so I don't have to interact with humans anymore. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's that thing. It's, like sometimes it's... they give me sandwiches in this thing too, and I'm <laughs> yeah, like, okay, bud. Okay, okay. I, we shouldn't be making fun of Zaster though. No, He's, no. He no. has made cooler albums than me, so I yeah. can't really say anything. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's what we do around here. We make fun of everybody if there's something to make fun of. Uh, yeah, but again, just like a cool, that that kind of expression of like a weird, challenging personality and a weird, challenging music and just that, you know, that like lo-fi dissonance of the record kind of really sounding like, you know, uh, someone saying, don't talk to me in, <laughs> in black metal form. Yeah. Like as much as people want to say like, oh, black metal is extreme and this and this. And you're like, yeah, but it sounds like you guys are having a great time. And it sounds like a party I want to be at with Zather that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, just the, <laughs> just the dissonant nature of it being like, it's really like a record putting up a wall trying to prevent you from getting close to it. Yeah. No, that's that's a perfect description of disaster. And I think yeah. that's I think he'd be happy to hear that. I think that's yeah, I pretty know, much right? what he's like, going for. Yep, perfect, yeah. perfect. Love to hear it. That's great. That's great. Yep. Okay, so this is there is zero consensus on Zather records, which uh, uh, I uh, I did not I did not um, I did not expect. So it's what we've had like every almost every zather record get mentioned so let me let me pull up zather on the computer here so i can copy and paste these so it doesn't take me fucking two hours to type out this poll um because we are oh my god we gotta we we've been palling around too much we're like there's like 15 minutes left oh, of the stream and we're like five holy fuck <laughs> all yeah, right we're pal palling around we just right. we just were palling around i'm not on a certain sort of schedule or anything. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I don't have anything to do. Uh, you know, I just got tomorrow's a pretty big day for me. But until then, yeah. you know, we're not doing much. Okay, I'm good so, till, till eight o'clock. My my Rolling Stone interview. Your role. Oh, <laughs> hello. Damn. There we go. There's an upgrade from this guy. <laughs> Rolling no, Stone. No, that's supposed. That's supposed to be a joke. It's, uh, it's not happening. It's not, it's not happening. happening? 
No. No, it's I definitely mean, not. It's, well, it's, it, that's the crazy thing about this record. If you said you had a, you said you had a Rolling Stone interview, I thought, and, and I just went, I it was yeah, funny. that's very plausible. It was just too plausible, man. <laughs> it was just way too plausible with everything's going on. You're like, yeah, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, Rolling Stone, good job, Rolling Stone. <laughs> Getting all that. All right, so I there seemed. I think we got the first four. Wait, the first five. Uh, we got nocturnal poisoning, funeral being, uh, telepack with with the deceased. Uh, I didn't see anyone uh, uh, say to violate the oblivious. So we got four Zathor records in the poll um, because apparently there is zero zero um, uh, consensus here. So we'll just do we'll just do classic majority rules. So the poll is live in the chat. Uh, Zathor. Uh, uh, yeah, everybody believed you. Yeah. Well, it should be happening. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I fully agree. Everybody. Everybody was like, yep. <laughs> damn right. Damn fucking right. <laughs> you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you, 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 you had to, I don't know what you could have said. I, there's no interview you could have said that I would have picked up as a joke. If you were like, yeah, you yeah. know, just got an interview with the New Yorker. I'd be like, yep. That sounds about right. That makes sense. <laughs> With everything that's going on, it's been, I mean, it's been a, it's been, um, uh, a it pretty has, crazy ride, even, been. even just, uh, even just as like a, it's like one of those crazy rides as a fan too, where you're like, oh fuck, oh fuck it. it like, it's cool. It like, you, you know, as, as, as someone that just isn't enjoying the music and then, uh, you get to kind of feel it's it's what i love about yeah it's the reason i look for like all these bands where it's where it's not like yeah you know if metallica's next record pops off it doesn't feel like i'm like going i'm like yeah. part of what's happening whereas with with something like this it really does feel like you're like wow look at this great thing that's happening to all of us <laughs> yeah no it feels the same it's, it's 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 so similar to me because all you got you know i have so many people that have supported me from the start and like it's not, I'm still at the point where I'm tiny, you know, it's just like expanding rapidly, but it's, uh, it's really cool to see it grow and like, see how people react. Like, especially the people that have been supporting me for like the last six months since I yeah. had no one following me. And like, yeah, I think it's, I think we're all pretty, pretty fucking surprised at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. No, okay, nocturnal poisoning winning. Everyone just really wanting to make me look stupid with this nocturnal poisoning. Not in the ones I downloaded. I had. I bet. I bet on. Uh, what did I bet on? I bet on. Yeah, telepathic. Telepathic with the deceased and subliminal genocide. Wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this added up on the board because that does feel. That does feel like one of the kind of. Whether, regardless of what album it is, it's definitely one of the kind of you know easier, easier ones. You know, especially when you add the the one the one the one person tag to it. Um, all right, we got it. We got it up. We got it up on the board. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, where do we go next? I, yeah, I feel like I feel like you know we touched we touched on them a little earlier in the. Uh, oh well, I guess we have to decide. Oh God, now we're gonna have to pick an <laughs> Opticon record. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm gonna okay. All right, guys. All right, gang. We're we've got to put a Panopticon record up there because I mean I feel like I feel like you know uh, uh, yeah like it's the the one of those like spiritual successor things is really what it feels kind of like what you're doing and the complaint you know I I what was it like fucking three four years ago just talking to Austin and being like why isn't there more diversity in the folk in black it black folk metal where what do you know any other bands and he was like oh yeah this band this band this band but yeah it was such a small pool and uh yeah and i was just like i all every time i just constantly staying on the channel i wish there'd be more uh uh folk in uh more different folk in uh black metal and uh there we go yeah um so now we have to pick a panopticon record uh all right we're already getting we're already getting uh kentucky you love autumn eternal but uh kentucky is a close second yeah um what did i i did i did think ahead on this one and i've got 
Autumn Eternal, Kentucky, and Social Disservices. Um, uh, yeah, Magua are Magua are spicy enough that we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna talk about Magua on the channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little spicy. Da, 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 da. I don't and think of course, they're too PC. I, I didn't know they were. I guess I did. I guess I've seen the YouTube photo of the two of them. Now that yeah. I think about it, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh yeah roads to the north is the best pain space god damn it um okay uh uh all right all right um is there i would any... say i personally like autumn eternal but i think kentucky's probably more iconic to yeah the the scene as a whole yeah i feel like yeah this is a case where i, I i'm gonna make i'm gonna make I think in this case, I'm going to make a executive decision and say like, the, you know, we can all have our favorites and people can feel certain ways, but the, uh, the kind of undeniability of like the effect Kentucky had and kind of the, the, the growth and the explosion after, uh, after Kentucky is, um, is it's the, it's the one it's the, it's the hit. It's the hit play the hits would be would be would definitely be kentucky um so i'm gonna take two i'm gonna take two i'm gonna be back in like take two seconds. yeah do it do it do it do it so take two yeah so this is how the tier list is looking so far uh this is gonna be tricky i didn't i didn't think how hard this was gonna be i'm always i'm always so nervous when we do these that uh that you know, I'm like, oh my god, are we gonna be able to talk for two hours? Is are, are we gonna have any? Are 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 people gonna disagree? Is it just gonna be this? Is it just gonna be these are the albums and we're gonna be done? Um, uh, but here we are. Here we are. The modern early essential early was super easy. Essential modern is not easy because we have we have a lot of records here. These this whole this whole group of records we need to talk about um, that all could go in there, um, but they all can't go in there. <laughs> fucking rude, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I love the the thing. I, this is this is one of the things I love about doing this show, where you're like, <laughs> who can tell what this record is? Who knows what this record is? Who's the who's the true fan in the chat that can that can ID that? <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Who's the true fan IDing that one? There we go. There we go. There we go. Passionate introvert is the passionate introvert is the winner. Passion introvert getting there first. Yeah. Pain X piss. What do I win? Uh, you win a special place in my heart. How about that? Does that sound nice? You win a very special place in my heart. But we technically need to only put one more album in here. Um, and... You know, uh, I always, I always have the, I always have the guests, uh, I always have the guests album uh, to talk about because almost every, well, every time I do this show, I always have a guest who's released a, uh, uh, a seminal album in the genre. Luckily, thank God, your album technically isn't out yet, so we don't, so we, we have one thing that we can just say. We got it. We 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 talked about it. It's an amazing album. Uh, again, just a reminder in the chat if you if you if you're everyone here is frothing at the mouth but just in case you you know were 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 uh, were waiting you're you know don't make sure you you've <laughs> bought it before friday otherwise you don't get to sit at the cool kids table you're gonna be like oh yeah you bought it after it came out we already knew yeah yeah the cool the cool time is running out yeah yeah you're Not you're cool you're gonna you're you got only a couple hours left to have cool points because this it is it is it is truly, it is truly, will be, will be, if we did the, if, you know, if, if we do the, if we do one of these again, two years from now, it's going to be, uh, you, you know, you can tell, you can tell, you can tell it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be a pretty important record. Cause it's, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, chef's kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice chef's kiss. But, <laughs> Sweet. Uh, what else are we tossing in here? What's the? There's a. There's a lot of albums that can go in this spot. What's uh? What's the guests? What's the guest thought for the? Uh, Man, uh, that's a really hard question. And, well, um, anything, any record you want to talk about in the world, it doesn't have to be on my list. It doesn't have to be the biggest. It doesn't have to be the most important. Just if you were, if you were buying, the thing I always say is, if a friend of yours, it was their birthday and they wanted to get into, you know, modern uh, uh, solo or do or black metal, if that was their birthday, if that was what they put on their birthday wish list, what would you buy them? What album? There's, there's two that I am torn on in this last one and I, again i think people are gonna hate me because there's like so many more iconic albums on this list but like if we're talking about things that i personally care about um first of all i'm gonna go newer like yep. anything that happened in the last two years two three years has been so phenomenal to me yeah, like I so much good shit um that holder album's really sticking out to me god's last string is one of the best modern black men albums ever i think like I, I might be alone in saying that, but I, uh, I think she's got a big following, but I don't think everyone is as, as obsessed with that album as I am. I, the other one, I, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to put Mayor Cognitum on there too, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got, yeah. I've got some, I've definitely got some good news for you. You came to the right place um, because everybody in this chat, we are, we're, we're Holder fans. One of the emotes on my channel is her. Uh, we love Holder. There's a Holder flag behind me when I stream. Uh, I saw, yeah, yeah. The, the, I, the chat. I love her. I love her. If she's I, listening right now, like, Black Braid is a huge Holder fan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it. well, it's it's cool. Holder, you know, there is like that, uh, there is the kind of like, the the parallel right where it's like to to black braid where it's just there's just something about the way like everything comes together with holder where it's like it's you get amazing music you get amazing yeah. music but then it gets elevated just by this you know th there's there's a there's a mystique and an aura around her and there's all this great visual art to go with it and this great presentation of everything and it's really it you know at the end of the day if you have two great albums that sound amazing, but one of them also comes with all this fucking extra dressing, yeah. you're like, yeah, I fucking want, I want that, I want the, I want the amazing album with with all the bells and whistles. So yeah, um, uh, the, uh, you know, it's a, it's an easy pick because again, it's just that this is the kind of black metal I really, really like. You know, the 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 Vidar, me talking about Vidar and Blue Dust Nord, and it just really kind of fits in with that vibe, uh, uh, and you know. And just yeah, uh, people saying uh, and yeah, I I haven't unfortunately Holder hasn't come to Toronto yet, but apparently again yeah, you know uh, the the live show is 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 effectively kind of transmitting that as well. So you know if the music sounds good and the live show is good, uh, and then yeah, like I said, you get all the bonus. It's really hard to not be stoked on uh, uh, yeah on Holder. I'm glad you picked that one too because that man that record is. I, I I can't I I really can't get enough of that record. I probably listen to it every other day since it came out. Still, yeah. I think the last yeah. time I was listening to it was yesterday. Like uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I I absolutely love it too. Uh, it's oh, it's it's so good. Um, uh, and then man, uh, uh, I the. the, the it's I think uh, the only other black metal record um, that has come like has come out recently uh, in in like my my time at Banger that I listen to as much as it is that is the Nun record the Damp Chill of Life um, uh, which has I, I might put in the rest because I again I don't I don't it, I don't know if it's had quite the the splash that something like you know Halder has but I did at, Mar at Maryland Death Fest at Psycho Las Vegas I was walking and I saw someone in a nun shirt and I said uh sick shirt and he said thanks and he didn't know who I was so that's great because I very much pushed the nun record on the channel so I'm like someone <laughs> someone someone bought it without with a and they, they didn't hear me cool that means it's that means it's being disseminated enough that uh that they're that they didn't that they didn't get it from me so people out there are just finding it on record love it um uh i love it it's one of my um uh yeah just a very 
very cool uh modern uh, just the coldest the coldest record i've ever fucking heard just just pure icy uh um the fact that Kect or Ak Pale Swordsman isn't on the list is mind blowing. It's that ju that like just came out. Give you gotta give records a minute. <laughs> you gotta give you gotta let them. You gotta let, you know you got yeah. I mean not that I eat meat, but you know when you get a steak, you don't you can't eat it right after it comes off the grill. You gotta let it. You gotta let it sit. <laughs> You gotta let it sit for five minutes before you you tear into it. So so give it five minutes and then we'll like I said you know it came out before the Holder record. Yeah, but the <laughs> impact of the holder record again is just like it's like a it's yeah. you can't tell me that that record had the same like fucking holy shit re reaction as the uh as the as yeah the, as the holder, holder melted melted the entire continent's faces off with that record yeah just... uh yeah i mean i keck direct was on my list as well so yeah. i'm kind of sad he didn't get on there but I would definitely if we're if we're buying for slot number five, I think I'd probably give it to Holder yeah. over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, uh, I absolutely agree. Um, and yeah, I don't know if there's any. It's hard because that there's a bunch of stuff that should be on there, but I don't know what we'd bump to get anything on there. I mean, uh, yeah, there's a yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, the 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 mere cognitum is a is, is a great mention. Just uh, again, the kind of difference where I'm, I, you know, a lot of times on these records, drums don't quite get the power, like the 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 kind of upfront nature of the drums on the uh, the Phobos monolith. Uh, just like fr from the you turn on the record and you really get like hit with drums and like kind of like drum forward black metal is not necessarily the most common thing. So that's uh that's that's another really cool one that I uh, that I super yeah. love. Um, but yeah, oh, I don't know. There's a bunch of I mean, you know, there's our. There's, it's like, this is, this is one of those hard things. Cause there's a bunch of great, there's a bunch of great records, but then you go like, ah, you think about like impact, uh, you know, there's, of course we've got to, we've got to say a quick, a quick, uh, uh, we've got to say a quick hello to, uh, to, to our, to our pal there, spectral lore. Uh, I mean, the dude is a, uh, the uh, I loss yeah. is an absolute black metal, uh, 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 artisanal black metal factory. Just, I don't know. I don't know how he simultaneously like puts the care and stuff he does into all his bands and produces, uh, the amount of stuff he does, but spectral Lord definitely being the kind of, uh, the, the weirdest and wackiest, the one that's, that's, that's the most, I, I, for me, I like mistress better but i feel like spectral lore is something more that should be talked about because i do think it is yeah it's it's weirder it's more out there it's kind of you know pushing the boundaries of black metal and i and i you know you always love to see anything kind of yeah shaking up that mold because you know it's a it's, it's a mold that needs to be shaken otherwise i i'm like yeah i fucking heard this 90 times <laughs> get the hell out of my get the hell out of my face plain ass black metal record um, but yeah, I, I, uh, chat, chat, last, last, last chance to shout out any, any massive emissions, uh, that you think that we've done here and give me a real emission. Don't be like this, you know, don't pull a Blaine and be like, you didn't put the Vidard record up there. <laughs> and Blaine, only you heard the, uh, uh, Leviathan more essential than Zather could bump mutilation. Someone, uh, Dark. That came up in my Google search. I might not be right here because Google's, I didn't look, dig that deep, but yeah. uh, a big name I saw when I looked on Google for ones and twos was uh, Ruins of Beverest. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's a, that's, that's, that's one I've got on there. Um, yeah. Just uh, uh, so cool vocally. I love that like raspy vocal of the uh of the uh of the runes of everest and yeah. then the side and then it's a it because it because it, it sounds very like organic and real um but the record has like a very german feel to it almost like industrial at times and it kind of like is a cool like contrast with it because it like the vocals sound like this like human monster in pain and then the record kind of sounds like a little more strict and german um uh is is yeah. is pretty it's, is pretty cool um 
Yeah. Coffee Beats Tea, awesome uh, album, Black Parade. I wish it were longer. Can't wait for the Toronto show and more material. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm never. Se- I'm sorry, go ahead. The second album's, the second album's going to be a lot longer. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to excite people too early because it's still a while out, but yeah, that's always been my plan. Yeah. The second one's going to be pretty big. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You know what? Someone made a good point. Zather. No, I, I, I don't know who we can. And I mean, visually, you just got to love that runes of Beverast cover on the chart. Just brown. <laughs> 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 just some varying shades of brown. Um, uh, uh, what about Pain X Pisses Band? He hasn't released an album yet. He's only re- full lengths only. This is out. Al- this says albums, not EPs. But you know we love our boy. Um, we're supporting the boys. We're supporting the boys. They got full length albums. <laughs> Black Braid, uh, I Laws. Call me back. Call me back when you got a record, kid. Click. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. Um, uh ethereal shroud ethereal shroud is awesome we love ethereal shroud oh, but that's more yeah. that's i mean i feel like that's that's stretching the limits of the genre a little bit i feel like we're stepping a little bit it's outside too of un- like too unknown maybe. and also yeah very no one know, knows ethereal shroud we're we're, that we're last, buddies that last record was probably my best of last year though like that yeah. was what that was phenomenal yeah. Yes. That yeah. Was, no. That absolutely. was a crazy black metal album. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there's a little bit. There's a little bit where it's like, it's it's, it's like, I, it's I I would definitely put it on a funeral doom list for sure, for sure, for sure. But I feel like is it like more funeral doom than 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 black metal? Um, it's kind of hard to hard to say. I mean, but yeah. Also, very very unknown except among our little circle cuz he is a he's a he's a member of my community there and a, a real gem of a human and a absolutely awesome musician too. Yeah. That Ethereal Shroud record was amazing, but yeah. Uh a little small, little small, but yeah, got to shout out and support the homie uh, Ethereal Shroud is definitely worth a check out, especially if you like some funeral doom in your black metal. If you want your black metal to slow down a bit, um yeah, I think I think we gotta come to the I think we gotta come to the close of the program. Uh, you know, I didn't even I didn't even get a talk, chance to talk about one of my one of my favorite crazy little guys in Essoc Trillium. He's just uh, that that my 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 these fun little fun little goblin <laughs> and this fucking insane wacky record uh, and a bunch of others. But you know, you've graciously given us uh, a, a lot of your time here and. Uh, yeah, I think I think I feel good about this list. I feel like we made a good list uh, for the chat to look at. I feel like we made a a, 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 a list we can feel. Psh, yeah, ha, uh, it was pretty. It's pretty solid. Pretty uh, pretty important. Pretty essential. Pretty um, yeah. Yeah, I feel very I'm gonna listen to some list. of these. Yeah, some of these again now yeah. that I've been reminded. Yeah, yeah, this is the, yeah, it was it, man, the out yeah. of all the episodes, this is like the the my the genre that caused me to really get like deep into metal. You know, I listened to a lot of different metal and punk growing up and then when I found like yeah, when I found weird one man black metal and media fire and <laughs> blog spot, I uh, <laughs> really really uh really turned into a different man. <laughs> uh but yeah, so I mean uh, you know, congrats, congrats on all the on all the success with everything. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, uh, pretty easy to say, well deserved success, and uh, yeah, just you know, uh, a, a big thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, I hope, I hope you know, you got you got yourself a nice little cake or something for tomorrow because uh, that's obviously going to be a should be a should be a party for you. I know it, it's gonna be. I'm 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 like working randomly tomorrow on like a temporary job all <laughs> the entire day. The one it, day, I it, yeah. I took it last minute because I'm like I actually was kind of thinking like, well, they're paying me good, but I was like, oh, this will be good to uh, occupy my time. Like I won't be able to look at my phone and shit. And yeah, I won't be sitting there monitoring my own success. I think it'll be good for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I did uh... buy some champagne though. So. Just get, just Love bring you down to earth. Yeah, definitely, definitely crack a bottle because uh, you know I, I, I honestly can say I don't really, I haven't, 
it's very rare that I see kind of the reaction to the record that I've gotten from the from the chat uh, and you know the people I get you know get to interact with and I get to interact with a good a good healthy chunk of the metal community so yeah chat all the chat all hell black braid uh, thanks so much for the stream yeah everybody just uh uh puppy will drink a glass of whiskey for you yeah cheers to everybody we're gonna head on over to grant truesdale from unleash the archer stream because he's online and he's uh he's a banger pal um but yeah just big thanks for coming out we really appreciate it and uh one last reminder in the chat uh you know you gotta you gotta buy it before it comes out if you want to be cool if you don't buy it before it comes out you're not cool you're you're uh you, you can't say you're a trendsetter you're a follower and you don't want to be a follower you want to be a leader grab the black blade record if you haven't already and yeah you know <laughs> have a great day trying to look at your phone tomorrow <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> all right all right sweet thank you so much all right see you, everybody peace all right yeah. see ya all right see ya